guys, it's Legomatic9, and today I'm back with a really, really highly anticipated video that all of you guys have been requesting, and it is the part 6 of my custom Lego The Walking Dead minifigures. So today I have five more minifigures to show you guys. All of them are brand new, all of them have been changed a whole bunch, uh, if they've been updated at all. So we have... Mitch Dolgan, who's an entirely new figure for me to make. I've got a new version of Tyrese. I've got a brand new version of Daryl Dixon. A uh, brand new uh, Lily Chamberlain. And a brand new Terra Chamberlain to show you guys. So, five new awesome minifigures that you guys are going to love. And today is Saturday and I cannot wait for tomorrow for the return of The Walking Dead Season 4. It is just going to be amazing. Uh, and just to let you guys know, Part 7 of The Walking Dead videos will consist of a new Maggie, who I have actually already completed, maybe a sneak peek of her later. Um, a new Glenn, who I'm working on a project with somebody else to get him finished up. Um, and then hopefully Abraham... Ford, um, Eugene, and uh, Rosita are, are all going to be in that part. But enough about future uh, future figures, let's just focus on this video for now. So let's jump into the close-up of these awesome minifigures. Something that I'm starting in this video that's going to be going on throughout all of my other custom Walking Dead uh, minifigure videos is this brick-built background. Now, a lot of people on Flickr liked it, and I really like it. So let me know in the comments below what your opinions are on it, because I really like it, and I can just add anything I want to it and change it up and just make it more unique per each season. So enough about the background. Let's get on to the actual figure itself, which is my new Daryl Dixon. Now, Daryl Dixon is my favorite character from the TV show, uh, even though that's kind of mainstream, like a lot of you people, like a lot of people are just like, oh, Daryl's too mainstream, nobody likes him. Well, everybody likes him because he's too mainstream, he's not actually a good character. Well, I have liked him since season one, mainly because I kind of liked the attitude he took with, like, in the apocalypse, and he's the only one that's really, his main goal is to survive. Like, that's... What he is wanting, like, I know all the other people are wanting to survive as well, but that, like, that's all he does. Like, every action he takes is whether or not it will help him survive in, um, like, not in a selfish way. Like, oh, maybe I should kill this guy because I won't, like, I won't survive unless I do that. But it's just all of his actions are based around um, survival. So that's why I really like him and because he uses a crossbow. I mean, who doesn't like him because he uses a crossbow? So... Back onto the figure, he's got the same crossbow that was in part 4 of my custom Walking Dead uh, minifigure. So he's got the same crossbow, nothing added to that. Uh, I painted on boots to his legs, and he's got the uh, the same hole in his, uh, in his uh, brown pants. He's got the black belt that goes all the way around with the gray buckle. It goes all the way around. And then... On the front of the torso, I had to entirely paint, um, sorry about that, I just knocked some stuff over, but I had to entirely paint his torso over again because the old torso was using this really awful looking old gray kind of color and it was like glossy too. And whenever I tried to scrape off paint, it would just leave off, like I couldn't shape it. But with this one, it's, uh, I, what is it? I think it's Craft Smart. Yeah, it's Craft Smart paint and it, um, what it is, it isn't glossy, it's kind of like got a dry feel to it, so you can scrape off paint easier to get straighter lines and just uh, fix any errors that you did. So, I really like uh, the new uh, new torso, and he's got the flesh up at the top. And then on the back, I haven't showed you guys this, but I added the wings to the back of his torso. Uh, those are actually a decal that I made. Um, well, I just got a picture, uh, like a PDF of his wings. I colored them in with the tan tool on Photoshop, uh, made the outline black, and then uh, put it on a clear water, oh, no, it was on a white water slide decal, uh, put it onto the torso, and then I painted around it to get rid of the white, and just blend in with the entire torso. So that's really sweet. Um, I gave him a new face, 
which I'm I like it a lot better than the Aragorn face. Now that's my opinion. I don't know about you guys, but I really like this face a lot better. I think it's more accurate. And an inspiration for that face goes to my buddy Oliver on Flickr. His name is Old Team Seven Twelve. I'll post a link in the description below um, to his Flickr stream because he makes amazing Walking Dead figures. Like he's actually one of my inspirations because he's really really good at painting and sculpting and just everything. So his Daryl Dixon's definitely better than this one. So check that out. But this one is just my take because I'm not a sculptor and he scul sculpted on the hair piece but this is just my take on Daryl Dixon um so yeah then he's got the Anakin Skywalker hair piece in the dark brown now I used to have the like the standard kind of like Mutt Williams style that's basically what I call it but um the Mutt Williams style hair piece and people on Flickr said they wanted to see this hair piece so I was just like sure why not I'll just go what with what you guys say so let me know which one you guys like the like uh like the best so yeah, that is, uh, oh, and also, um, not, this is not it, this has got a uh, weathering and, uh, like, dirt effects and sweat effects painted around him, like, I've got, like, some, uh, you guys can't really see it because the, uh, the lighting's really bright and he's, like, a pretty old figure, but he's got, like, some dry brushed, um, paint on there pretty much everywhere, you can kind of see it on his torso and then on his arms a little bit, like, right there, so, uh, yeah, he's got that going around the entire figure. So that's, uh, five minutes on Daryl Dixon, um, so yeah, uh, there's Daryl Dixon. Next figure up is my new Tyrese. Now, just like my Daryl Dixon, uh, this figure was inspired by Old Team 712 as well. Um, his, I think his version 1 was like this, but then he changed it to a uh, like a uh, different outfit. But uh, this is my take on, uh, well, my second attempt on, uh, on Tyrese, and he just turned out pretty awesome. I re I'm really loving how he turned out. So he is equipped with a custom-made hammer, which is made out of a Lego screwdriver, and then a flash, oh, not a flashlight, a, uh, like a, what are they called, floodlights, floodlights for clone troopers. Um, then I painted it, painted the uh, screwdriver brown and the uh, the floodlight a silver color. Um, I was thinking, I should have added blood to that, but um, oh well. So he's got a pretty awesome custom-made hammer. Um, then on his, uh, I guess we'll start with his legs, he's got the uh, black pants and he's got brown boots and he's got some blood splattered onto his legs right there um, and then the boots go all the way around like all of them um, so I'll go so uh, yeah and then on the torso it is it used to be a brown torso but then I painted it in a dark gray um, and then I added the wrinkles on there which look pretty awesome then I have the shirt extending down to the belt area he's got blood stains and dirt stains all over his shirt which just look awesome and then on his arms, he's got the sleeves painted on there with some blood on there. Uh, he's got a tan backpack, uh, which I added there. And uh, then he's got another sleeve with some more blood. And then his hat. I'm really proud of his hat. Well, first his face. I painted on the beard. Like, it's the same face, except I painted over the mouth. You guys can kind of see the color differenti differentiation. Yeah. Um, with the, like, with the browns. And then I... Uh, I painted on the mouth just to make it so he wasn't like grinning because you don't really grin a lot in the zombie apocalypse. Then he's got a custom made hat which is made out of a Lego beanie and then I uh, painted some black lines on it to make it look like uh, the beanie he wears. And then I painted over it over the black lines with some gray paint to, uh, to kind of make it look like blending in. It wasn't like popping out as much, but I really like how that turned out. Um, the black lines aren't as like solid and vibrant as they would be. And then on his hat, I added some blood splatter up there because if he's going at it with his hammer, um, I actually have the hammer in the wrong hand. Uh, since he, I think Ty yeah, Tyrese is a lefty, but. Um, like, if he was going down with a hammer and he'd be going back up with it, if it was stuck in, like, a zombie's head, it would bring blood back up, so it would kind of splatter on his hat. So I probably should have put that on the other side. Uh, oh, wait, yeah, I did. I did put some on that side, too. Um, just to kind of give it that more realism. Like, I added some blood there, too. But, uh, yeah, that's probably more accurate. I probably should have put the hammer in this hand. But, uh, yeah, so Tyrese has got a lot of blood splatter all over him. I'll just tell you that. He's definitely got a lot, and I definitely love how it turned out. So, that is pretty much it for a, this version of Tyrese. Now, I am expecting to get a new face in um, from one of my friends who's helping me out, or one of my, uh, like, yeah, I guess one of my friends is helping me out with uh, some faces. So, we'll see that in a uh, separate video. Uh, so, yeah, that is the new Tyrese.
Next figure up is Mitch Dolgan. I believe that's how you pronounce his last name. But uh, if you guys don't know who he, who he is, he is the tank driver for um, Martinez and his uh, like his kind of crew, I guess you could say. Um, like his group of people in Season 4. Um, so he's like the guy that drives the tank. And I just thought, you know, hey, why not make him? Because he was in two episodes. Oh my god, two episodes. Um, so he's got a Minificat M4. I'm not exactly sure what the speci the specifications on it are. Or all of the numerals or whatever it has. But, um, yeah, so he's just got a Minificat M4. Um, painted onto his olive green legs. He's got some black boots that, again, go all the way around. Like that. Um, and then he's also got some dirt and stuff painted on there. Then he's got a black belt with a uh, with a silver uh, buckle. So again, those all the way around. And then on his shirt, his shirt was just a blank white torso. And then I added the flesh up at the top for the collar. And then I painted on the uh, backpack straps because I actually painted. Oh, I actually uh, glued on the backpack. Because I thought it looks kind of cool. Now you may be asking, why didn't you do that with Tyrese? Well, with Tyrese, he's got a painted back. And um, if I glued on the backpack, it might not stick. Like, it might pull some of the paint off. Like, I just didn't really want to do that. Because it's like, it's a brown torso. And I don't really have a lot of those. Uh, whereas white, I do have a lot of those. So I wasn't really um, too worried about gluing it onto a white torso. So he's got the backpack straps, which do go under his arms like that and attach to the backpack. So I thought that was a kind of cool detail to add. And then he's also got it on this side as well. And then he's got a clone trooper face on there. Now, I know Mitch kind of had a 5 o'clock shadow, but I couldn't add that because it was just too much. Work. Like, I'm not really good with painting faces or facial details. So um, I kind of left that off. Uh, I wasn't really exactly sure how to execute a five o'clock shadow um, but anyway he's got a clone trooper face which i think works fairly decently and then he's got a uh a, i think it was the painter hat yeah it was the painter hat from the collectible minifigure series uh and i painted it a sand green because i know he had kind of that uh digital acu camo i think or not i don't know i forget which camo camouflage it was but it kind of had like that digital camo on there but i it would just been way too much work to paint all that on there all those little squares and stuff i'm not really good at painting squares and like perfect lines um but yeah just sand green hat on there so that is pretty much it for mitch dolgan next figure up is lily chamberlain now again lily is one of those side characters that was added pretty much in the last i think it was last yeah last two or three yeah last three episodes of the first half of of uh season four so she isn't a major character yet i don't know what kind of development they have in store for her but i'm i don't know what i i, I don't know what i'm expecting out of this character like i really don't care if she dies or lives or whatever as long as she doesn't harm the group at all um then who cares <laughs> i really don't care what happens so uh with lily she is equipped with just a standard um 1911 from Brick Arms, where it's actually a long slide. I just didn't really have a, uh, a pistol lying around, so I just grabbed that. Uh, like, and she doesn't really, she never really had any weapons. Like, I never even saw her with a weapon. I'm pretty sure she did, uh, but I just forget when. So she's got 1911 um, on her legs. She's got the black boots painted on there with the blood effect and dirt effect. Now this figure has a lot of blood on there. And um, spoiler alert: in season four. Uh, her daughter Megan dies or she gets bit by a walker and so then Lily carries her over to the battle scene at the prison and there's all this blood like on her right side and I just felt the need that I needed to add that because it was just like that was like what it was just like awesome <laughs> kind of um, spoiler over you guys uh, clicked off so uh, anyway, back onto the figure. She's got a brown belt painted on there with a kind of like dark tan buckle painted on there. Kind of like a gold buckle. Um, and then it goes on to the back as well. Uh, then she has an Aerolite curved torso, which has been painted white with the blue at the top. Uh, she's got blood stain, uh, blood, no, 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 blood stains everywhere and blood splatter everywhere. And it just looks like, holy crap, it just looks amazing. And on this side, I'll kind of move the, uh, take the pistol off. You can kind of, uh, kind of see the blood on this side. Um, not that much, but, uh, 
yeah, she's got some there. Then she's got the blue at the top of her torso up here, where uh, like by the collar and the um, the shoulder region. And then she's got the uh, buttons right there. Uh, as you can see, she's got the um, the blue on the top of her arms right there, and she's got her uh, sleeves on there as well. And it goes all the way around. This looks pretty awesome. And then this blood splatter right here, I'm just really proud of that. And I even got it on her hair, and I got it on her sleeve, and it just looks awesome. Her face, I think it's just a Princess Leia face. And I uh, then I took some hair, and I painted that hair a uh, dark brown to match her hair color. And uh, yeah, I think she just turned out really awesome. I'm actually really proud of how this figure turned out. So yeah, that is Lily Chambler. Last figure is Lily's sister, Tara Chambler. Now she is equipped with a tiny tactical, uh, I think it's personal sidearm or something along those lines. It's a really small gun, but uh, I just gave it to her because she was a cop uh, before the zombie apocalypse. So I was like, you know, why not? This is a personal defense pistol, I guess. Or I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but uh, I just gave it to her just because it kind of fit her, um, her personality or whatever. I don't know. I just gave it to her. Um, but yeah, she's got the Han Solo legs because it has the holster on there. I just thought it kind of looked cool. Uh, she's got the black shoes painted on there, which go all the way around on that side as well. And then she's got the fully painted torso, which has the kind of dark tan undershirt um, with the black collar. And then she's got like a black jacket that goes around it like so. And then she's got the black sleeves on there. It's got some dirt and stuff painted on there as well. So that looks pretty awesome. And then on her face, her face was actually my uh, custom Lori's face. Uh, I just took that off because no one cares about Lori anymore. Um, so I kind of like just ripped that off of her and gave her that kind of scared look because she like during the battle of the prison, she had that um, that like she was shocked and she just did not want to be there. Like she was just like, what the heck is going on here? I don't understand it. So I gave her that face because it kind of fit uh, what she was thinking during that scene. Then she's got some Lego Friends hair on there. Um, and it's also got some clay on the side because there was actually a hole right there. Uh, and then I painted over it with, with uh, black. And, uh, something about, uh, not Lily, Tara's character is that in the uh, Season 4B preview, she's running with someone in a riot gear suit. Now, a lot of people are thinking, oh, it's Glenn, because Glenn wears it in the comics, I don't know, but I think it's Abraham, because if you pause it during the trailer, you can. there's a scene with the guy in the uh, in the SWAT suit, like, in the middle of a whole, uh, like, a crowd of zombies, and just bashing them in the head, and, like, trying to get out of there, and, like, I paused it, I looked at it, and I saw a, a handlebar mustache, I was like, that's Abraham. It has to be Abraham. That's like, it's either Abraham or it's Glenn. Now, I'm going towards Abraham. Um, so that's what I'm thinking. Uh, I believe I have the link somewhere around here. Yeah, I'll put the link in the description below to that picture. Uh, it's on Imgur, so you guys can uh, view that and tell me your opinions on that still. So, yeah, that is pretty much it for my custom Terra Chamberlain. All right, guys, so that is pretty much it for this part six of my custom Lego The Walking Dead figures. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know you guys have been really begging for this video because I haven't made it since the uh, mid-season finale. So that's been since December, wow. Um, or somewhere around then. So this is just, I am really happy I'm getting back into this because I haven't really made one of these videos in a while. And I've had these figures done for quite a bit, quite a while. And uh, right now I just thought it was appropriate to make it. Uh, so tell me what you guys think. Tell me which figure you like the best. Um, and also tell me which other figures you'd like to see made. And also check out the other five parts of my custom LEGO The Walking Dead um, minifigure series. Uh, because I have a lot of them. And some of you guys request the ones that I've already made. So you guys can just go check those out. And then uh, also, as promised, here's a little glimpse at the new Maggie. Boom. Yeah. You guys kind of saw that, but uh, Tyrese... How to get in the way, put him back up. So yeah, um, I'm planning on making a Sasha uh, as well. I don't know when that will be. It might be in the next part. I don't know. We'll see. So thank you guys for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe as usual. Check out my Google+. Plus. Um, also check out my Facebook and my Flickr. And uh, yeah, so like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.